Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Sarah. Today I have a brand new maker to show you guys. This is called Sweetlings Sprinkle Shop. We are going to be frosting cupcakes, fake of course, into cute little creatures like this. I believe I found this set at Target. It retails for about $30. Ooh, so colorful. So here is the first item out of the box. This is the Sprinkle Shop. And isn't it super colorful? I love this. Now you do need some batteries with this. This takes three double A's, which are not included, but I have already installed the batteries so that we could use this very shortly. Also in the box comes two cupcake bases and one ice cream base. Very pretty colors, don't you think? Now here are the tubes of whipped clay. Now this set is not edible, just in case you guys were curious. So this comes in yellow, blue, and purple. And these go on the sprinkle shop just like this. Here are three caps and each of these has a different tip, which I'll show you guys in just a moment. These go on the top like this. They give you this bag of glitter because life is so much better with glitter. Here's a bag of colorful plastic sprinkles. A small little tube of pink whipped clay. Some handy dandy tweezers. Some cute little accessories that we'll be using whoops, to decorate our bases in just a few minutes. I love those glasses. I can't wait to use those. This is a sheet of punch out shapes and a sheet of stickers. And there's also a little book here to show you guys how to use this set. And just in case you guys are curious, there is a page in the back showing you all the different refill kits that are available for the sweetlings. Now before we start decorating our cupcakes, we still need to complete our little station here. I'll put the sprinkles inside of this container. And if you want, you can punch out these little, I don't know, features like eyes. <laughs> and they can also go in this little container here. Or you can just always punch them out as you go. We also need to add the glitter to our little cupcake that's hanging above. So we'll just take the lid off and then sprinkle the glitter all around the inside of the cupcake. Here's one little feature I think is pretty cute. If you move the arm to the left and then turn on the button, <laughs> the little disc rotates and the lights turn on. Now, if you do not want the lights, you can just move this back and then the lights are off. Let's go ahead and decorate our first cupcake base. This goes on just like that, snaps into place. I'm gonna use the purple whipped clay with this particular cupcake. Now for this one, I've applied the French tip. So I'll just turn on the machine and apply our whipped clay. Ooh, look at that. It has a nice little frosting look to it. All right, going well so far. Oh, whoops, hang on, hang on. We got a little air bubble in there. That's okay. We'll just pick up where we left off. And just continue on like this. So far, so good. I think you just need practice with this. is our frosted cupcake. Now let's add some of the accessories. We'll go ahead and stick an eyeball right there. I like the green eyes with the purple frosting. Here is another eyeball right here. Cute. Of course we have to have a mouth. <laughs> 
Here's a cute little bow added to the side. Let's also add a couple of stickers to the cupcake base. And let's give her something to hold on to, like this little iPad, or I should say tablet. There we go. Cute! Now for our final step, let's go ahead and add the glitter. So we'll just turn it on like this, and then turn the lid of the cupcake on top that holds the glitter to make the glitter come out. All right, guys, here she is. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she came out really cute. Oh, the glitter is really subtle, but I really do like the glitter on top. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is really adorable, so let's go ahead and make another one. Now these will still be wet for quite some time, so we'll just carefully pop it off the machine and we'll set her aside for her to dry. Now she may take about six to eight hours to dry, so I'll just leave her there overnight. And in the meantime, we'll pop a new little mold in. This time, it's the ice cream. For this one, I'll use the star tip with the blue color frosting. Let's also add these cute little kitty headphones. Oh, oh, perfect. With this one, we'll use the purple eyes. Here's the mouth. And let's add some hearts to the base. Now, of course, we can't forget my favorite part, the glitter. Aw, she came out so cute! All right, now we're gonna set this one aside to dry. We'll do another one. This time, I've chosen the yellow color with the round tip. For this one, I'll add the blue eyeballs. And of course, I cannot not use these glasses. They're so cute. Let's try adding some of the plastic sprinkles. Oh, I love that. Of course, I cannot forget the glitter. Oh, came out so, so cute. I'm not sure if that would be a male or female. It could be either, but I do love those plastic sprinkles on top. All right, you guys, I have to say this set is adorable. I love the way my little sweetlings came out, especially that yellow one. I did have a little trouble with the frosting. There were a few air bubbles, so I'm a little bit obsessed that they weren't totally smooth, but I think that just needs some practice. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe. I would totally appreciate it. Thank you guys again. As always, I will see you in the next video.